You may not understand this. Wait, hold on a sec. Yeah, you're never going to see me do that. Because this video is about why I never answer my phone as a real estate agent. It seems crazy. I've actually had other real estate agents say to me, how can you do business or so much business if you never answer your phone? I'm going to explain it. And I'm going to explain what I mean when I say why I never answer my phone as a real estate agent. But first, let me tell you a little bit about me. My name is Jonathan Green. I run a team called Streamline Properties On Market, brokered by eXp Realty. I've been an on-market agent for almost 10 years. I've been investing in real estate for more than 30 years. I'm also a certified life coach and an expert in time blocking. The reason why I never answer my phone as a real estate agent is because I'm working. <laughs> I'm not just a remote butler that can pick up the phone at any time because I'm so desperate for one person to call me. I have a very regimented day. It's fully scheduled from morning to night. And what is inside of that schedule is plenty of phone calls and plenty of Zooms as long as they're scheduled. And the reason why I don't often or ever answer my phone is because 99% of direct phone calls are either irrelevant or can be answered via a text. And if somebody wants to have a phone call, that is great. I just need to set it up and put it on my schedule. Because the one thing that I find really worried about incoming phone calls that aren't expected, it's that people expect that I'm available when they're available, but I'm not because I'm working. <laughs> and this is what I think a lot of people suffer from. If you're always answering your phone, you're never paying attention and keeping the flow of your work. I operate in flow states. I use Pomodoro timers. I'm making sure that I'm keeping my time blocks at all times. It never means that I'm not good at servicing clients. I just have boundaries. And my boundaries are perfectly set up for people to set things. I have Zoom links for every single type of meeting that you could ask for. Investor meetings, recruiting for the team. I just send out a Zoom link. They can book. I much prefer, personally as an introvert, to do a Zoom meeting as opposed to a phone call because then I can see somebody face to face and get a much better idea of who they are and what our relationship is. I will do buyer's consultations over Zoom, listing presentations, anything, because I'd much rather do that than just talk on the phone. Uh, when Look, the truth is almost everything can be answered via text, and I'm a great text messenger. I'm exceptional at texting. I respond to people. I know exactly what information they want. So even when other real estate agents get annoyed because they want to call me, I say, well, just send me what you want to ask. And if I can answer it in text, I will. If you need to have a phone call, just schedule it. The problem is that the other people on the other end, they just want what they want when they want it. But like I said, I am working. I'm happy to work somebody into my work schedule, but I treat real estate like a business not a job. And I train all of my agents to do the same. We are a big real estate team and we're running a business. We're not able to just do anything on the whim. Obviously for incoming lead sources like Zillow, Ojo and Homelight, that's part of our lead flow. When those calls come in, myself and my team are going to answer those. But I'm talking about direct phone calls on my phone when they're not scheduled. And if the number is not on my phone, there's a 0% chance I will ever answer that phone call. Zero. And my message says, this is, you know, insert name, blah, blah, blah. I don't listen to my messages. Please send me a text message right away and I'll get back to you as fast as I can. And that's usually within just a few minutes. I am able to reach my texts quicker. I'm very efficient. So I don't like when people say, I can't believe that you can run a business without ever answering your phone. It's not because I'm off surfing in Hawaii. I'm working and I don't want to interrupt the flow of the work that I'm paying attention to, to pick up a call that wasn't scheduled. So maybe it doesn't work for everybody, but I can tell you for sure it works for me. I think it will work for a lot of people in business to schedule the phone calls, use Zooms and use alternative measures of response where I can answer most questions. If somebody has a question for me and I already have made a YouTube video, I'm going to send the YouTube video because it has all the information. If someone wants to make a personal connection, I'm happy to hop on a Zoom. It's much, much better for me. So that's it. It's why I don't answer my phone as a real estate agent. You won't see me with you like this because I'm not gonna answer the phone. It's not scheduled. My time is set with you. 
and I'm going to stay on that. I may have to knock out a couple texts when you're not looking, but that's how I stay off the phone. Have a great day.